Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to be showing how to use the sound play sound procedure or API statement that you can use in VBA Excel to play a sound and also to stop a sound. So before I get started I would first recommend that you take a look at my Windows API playlist to have a better understanding of Windows API. What we're going to be using is going to be a function that's found in a DLL file and it's going to be called the sound play sound function. So first off, let me highlight it for you. You can ignore all the code that's in my module file. This is a module file that I have created over a course of years, just adding statements that I use in many of my projects. Now, the one that you're going to be paying attention to is the sound play sound, and that's public declare. Mine has PTR safe because I'm using Windows 7 64-bit edition. If you're using a 32-bit edition, you don't need to have the PTR safe. It's simply just going to be public declare function and then of course the remaining code. But notice since I'm using 64-bit, if I click out of it, I'm going to get an error telling me that the code in this project must be updated for use on a 64-bit system. Please review and update declare statements and then mark them with the PTR safe attribute. So you must keep the PTR safe attribute when using a 64-bit version of Windows. So that being said though, we're going to use sound play sound and it's going to ask us for the sound name, which in this case is a wave file and the attribute that we want to give it, the flag. And this code is one that you'll again find if you're using the API finder that I mentioned in my API playlist. If you don't have the time to look at that video just simply write out this code though and place it into your module file if you don't have a module file set up just simply go to your VBA environment and select on this drop down box select, select insert and just do module and place in that code so now I'm gonna go to my user form and what I'm gonna do is I I have a user form already here set up and I've drawn a command button and if you don't have a user form just simply draw it out insert user form and draw a command button from your toolbox just using your command button object So I'm gonna double click my command button I have some code already written out and I'm using a sound file that's in my system already my computer system that came with magic's software that I use for audio and I'm gonna play this WAV file and it's, it's just call sound play. You have an open parentheses, your double quote, the folder and the file name. And the flag that I'm using is sound async. And these flags or attributes, you can gain them through looking at the MSDN. And you'll see, let me go on and just kind of expand this out because I had already had modified this. Let me go to the parameters. This will explain the parameters that are available that you can use. The one that I'm using is async, which means the sound is played asynchronously and play sound returns immediately after beginning the sound. To just to make this easy and explain it, this will allow your code to run while the sound is still playing. If you don't call this specific value, then what's going to end up happening is that your application will wait for the sound to finish playing and then once the sound is finished playing then your code will execute. Using this option will allow your code to execute while the sound is playing. So in this case what I do is I play the sound. After I play the sound I simply just change the user form caption. I'm counting up to 2000. One, I'm sorry 1 to 20,000 and I change the caption to be the rep that we're on and then after that's done I just put call sound play zero zero because we're putting a zero it's like not even looking for a file and the zero is just gonna be we're just nulling everything so that we can stop the sound from playing however at the end because technically this is an error there is no sound to play the system will provide a ding at the end so I'm gonna go and hit F5 I'm actually gonna change the 20,000 and 10,000 just to make this video a little bit shorter hit F5 and hit, hit the command button Hopefully that sound was not too loud. All I did was count to 10,000, but while it counted to 10,000, the music was playing. And then once the code was done executing, then it we call this last sound play. That's zero, zero. So we're not calling a file, but we do get that error ding 
you could always replace that with your own N sound if you wanted to stop the sound from playing. Let's say maybe saying process completed or whatever sound you may want to play. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.